This video shows an overview of the maintenance of the Piccolo 4 and the Piccolo 5. Warning! Take all safety precautions as described in the manual. These are the chapters explained in this video along with the times. These can be clicked in the timeline before maintenance. Procedure, make sure the toggle switch is off. Maintenance can now begin. Step 1. Oil, removal. Step 2. Cleaning oil strainer. Step 3. Oil filling. Step 4. Check oil level. Step 1. Oil, removal. Procedure, remove the oil dipstick. Note, removal of oil is easier with a warmed up engine. Insert the hose of the suction pump in the opening for the dipstick. Push the hose to the bottom of the sump. Pump until all oil is removed and reinsert the oil dipstick. Step 2. Cleaning oil strainer. The oil strainer needs to be cleaned every 200 running hours. Put some tissues under the oil strainer cap before removing it. Take out the oil strainer. Check for damages, replace when necessary. Clean the strainer using tissue and white spirit. Put the filter back in place by pressing it in first. Note, make sure the O-ring stays in place. Tighten the fixating bolt. Step 3. Oil filling. Unscrew the top cover first, so that air can escape during filling. Unscrew the cover from the oil filling point. The Piccolo 45 must be run on heavy-duty lubricating oil, meeting the requirements of API Class CF, CF4, CH4, CI4 or CI4+. We recommend a multi-grade oil 15W40. Note that the engine may contain some residual oil. The engine requires 1.9 liters including heat exchanger and piping. Do not overfill as this has a negative effect on engine performance. While filling, check the lubricating oil level by means of the engine oil dipstick. The engine needs to run without load for 30 seconds to fill the oil circuit. Alternatively, use the top as the filling point. Note, wait 5 minutes before checking the oil level when this filling point is used. Screw the top cover back on. Step 4. Check oil level. Procedure, remove the oil dipstick, wipe it clean. Hold the threads against the filling point and check the oil level. Make sure to keep the oil level between upper and lower limits of the oil gauge to prevent engine damage. Reinsert the oil dipstick. Replace air filter. Frequency of filter change depends on environmental circumstances. Procedure, check the air filter and replace when necessary, do not. Clean the air filter element. Place the filter and cover into position.
Put back the ring and screw the wing nut on. Replacing impeller. Remove the cover to access the impeller. Note, inspect the cover and if necessary replace. Remove the impeller with some pliers. When replacing the impeller, the gasket between the housing and cover should also be replaced. Install the new impeller and add some lubricant like Vaseline to the scoops. Put the cover back on with the new gasket, make sure that the gasket is placed properly between the housing and cover. Fuel System Maintenance When maintenance is done on fuel lines, diesel will be spilled. A clogged filter results in a lower output power and or an irregular running engine. Inline fuel filter change is needed when the fuel is contaminated and is part of preventive maintenance at least every 400 running hours. Loosen the hose clamps. Replace the old with the new filter, and the fuel filter is marked what the input and output is. Tighten the clamps back again. Frequency of replacement of the fuel water separator depends on environmental circumstances and fuel distribution. Rotate the fuel water separator counter clockwise to remove it, note, water will leak. Frequency of drainage of the fuel water separator depends on environmental circumstances and fuel distribution. Rotate the drain plug of the fuel water separator counter clockwise to drain it. Note, water will leak. Bleeding fuel lines. Ensure there is sufficient fuel. The system is self-bleeding. The first time starting up or after running out of fuel, it could be necessary to prime the fuel system. Turn the switch on. Hold the start button activating the electric system and activating the fuel pump. When holding the button the pump will work, but the unit will not start. Hold as long as necessary to bleed the system. Reset maintenance timer. Procedure, make sure the toggle switch is on. By pressing the start and stop button once at the same time, the run time until maintenance will light up. For example, greater than 50 hours. Hold down the start and stop button together for three seconds. Indicators will light up. On older models the maintenance light may blink as standby notification. The maintenance timer is now successfully reset. Spare Parts Overview Disclaimer, examples shown may vary in practice.